Hey kids, welcome back to math. In math, you've been learning all about addition and subtraction. Today, we're gonna to talk about how these two operations are related. You might be wondering, what's an operation? I'm sure glad you asked. An operation tells us what to do with the numbers. Addition and subtraction are examples of operations. Let's check out some math stories so we can understand how these two operations are related. There were three penguins playing in the snow. Then, two more penguins came to join them. How many penguins are there in all? All right, mathematicians, this is where we need to stop and decide what kind of operation we are solving. An addition operation is one where we are joining groups. A subtraction operation is one where we are taking away from a group. In this case, we're joining the three penguins with the two penguins. That means this is an addition problem. I could show this same problem using unifix cubes. Here, I have three blue cubes. This represents the three penguins. I then have two yellow cubes. This represents the penguins that came to join and play. In this picture, the circle and arrow represent that the two penguins are joining the three penguins. I could show this problem with an equation. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Let's check out another problem. There were five penguins playing. Then, two of them left. How many penguins are left? Hmm. What type of operation do you think this is? How do you know? If you said subtraction, you're right. This is a subtraction problem because two of the penguins were taken from the group. I could show this same problem with unifix cubes. In this picture, it shows that I had five cubes, just like I started with five penguins. Then, two of the cubes are being taken away. That's why the arrow is being pointed away from the group. Now, there would be three cubes left. This could also be written as an equation. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's take a look at the two equations we just solved. 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 minus 2 equals 3. What do you notice is the same about the operations? You should notice that they all involve the same three numbers. What do you notice is different? You're right, the order of the numbers. In the addition problem, I'm joining the two smaller numbers. In the subtraction problem, we start with the bigger number, 5, and then we take 2 from it. Let's take a look at the picture. Do you notice how both of them have three blue cubes and two yellow cubes? What's different about these two pictures? You're right, the circle and the arrow are going different directions. In the addition operation, the cubes are being joined together. In the subtraction operation, they are being taken apart. When we are looking at addition and subtraction operations that are similar in this way, these are called related facts. Thanks for learning with me today. I'll see you guys next time.